The Spectrum Editor in WaveLab 7 allows for very powerful processing and editing. Now, when we do actual editing on our main waveforms here, we actually edit all of the frequencies. So if my material has bass, treble, mid-range frequencies, I have to kind of take all the frequencies or none of the frequencies. The Spectrum Editor will allow us to kind of edit individual frequency ranges. So let's come over here and open the Spectrum Editor by clicking on this icon. And as we do that, we see our waveform view actually here change, and it looks a bit radically different. But what this is actually showing us is our frequency range from uh, 0 hertz all the way up to 22K. So where I see kind of more brighter colors, I actually have more harmonic information. So if I wanted to kind of zoom in, I could actually just kind of come here. And let's go ahead and just kind of play our example file. So I'll see kind of my bass frequencies. And I'll be followed by some drums coming in. And we'll have a voice come in here. So let's say I wanted to filter out the voice, but I didn't want to affect the bass or the actual frequencies of the, the bass drum. Or So I'll come over here and just with my cursor, I'll just select that range right there of the voice. And we could actually kind of see the overtone series here of our voice. And we'll go ahead and kind of knock this down just a little bit so we could see our editor, some of our more of our functions. So if I wanted to just simply damp that I could apply a filter just in those frequencies. So as I would play the file now, I'll go back to my waveform view and where the vocal would come in. We could just kind of take out that voice and significantly filter it out. So if you have a scenario where someone coughed or you had a chair squeak in the middle of a fantastic recording, um, you could just simply filter out those particular frequencies. Now another great trick is to come over here and once we have our selection defined is actually to define a selection as a target. And if I wanted to hold down my shift key I could actually keep my same frequency ranges and find another similar section and I could actually define this as my source. And then if I wanted to copy exactly or just copy the background ambience I can now copy the source to the target. And then if I wanted to further damp that, I could apply an additional filter just on that selection as well. So this way we can do some more surgical filtering. So ideal for taking out single elements without affecting the other elements of so just particular frequency ranges. Now we could also have a bit more of an interesting task. So let's say I wanted to come here and I have a full two-track mix. And let's say I just wanted to kind of change the overall sound characteristics. So let's go ahead and launch our Spectrum Editor here. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so we could actually see just a little more. Let's say I wanted to isolate just a snare drum. So I'm going to take that snare drum hit here. And then we'll just kind of select just a snare drum. And now what I want to do instead of doing surgery and surgical filtering is send it to my master section. And I wanted to now add a reverb or any plugin. So I'll come over here, we'll add our Roomworks reverb. And now what it's going to do as we play is I could just add reverb just on a snare without affecting the bass without affecting the vocal that's coming up. So where we were, and now adding. So this way, just my snare drum has the reverb in just those particular frequencies without having to affect the rest of the mix. So as you can see with the spectral editing, it's ideal for doing surgical processing and creative mixing techniques using the tools in WaveLab 7.